Hey, what's up? This is Alan Robertson. I am at the UUC space and I'm going to talk about needs, dreams. We've been talking, talking and exploring what it is that would hold the UUC space together. In a sense, like, why does the UUC matter? Why do we want to maintain a $7,000 rent and an utilities at a place like this? Because, you know, we don't need to. It's not serving. But while we're here, we figured the main bottleneck is, at least to our sustaining the space, is I think oh, we're coming across the idea that people aren't engaged because, well, we've heard a few feedbacks like, um, that the communication piece isn't there. So strategically, like people have had a hard time seeing the calendar. We've logging into the website, things like this. There are some technical issues as well. But I think where I'm going to go with this is I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I've gotten from the UUC and what it's been for me. And I'm going to talk using kind of a, a particular format where I'm gonna draw on memories that of things I've experienced here and talk about what I've gotten out of being here. For me, I was thinking in the shower today, what is it worth to me to have a space like this where I can come and shoot a music video or just come and have a conversation with people that are, it seems like this space is drawing on bringing in people that are of a similar resonance that we value freedom. So freedom is a really v broad word, but freedom like we're not going to ask you to wear a mask in the space. Just having a space like that, like how much is that worth to me? A lot of it is the friends that I've made here so far, the people that I can come be with and have conversations about my evolution. I can talk about the darker parts of myself that have come up and what that was like for me. Um, and people relate to to evolving and, and people have their own tools that they found to help help inspire their movement forward as conscious beings. Um, it's a place where, like John Daly has said a number of times, it's a place where we can just come and be authentic these days. For me, what else? I'm going to talk about some memories. The and and what what I get out of those so memory for me is being at the head meetings and for me the value I got out of those is learning it's like a project for me where I get to learn to interface with others how to structure meetings how to practice listening to people's needs and what they're interested in um, seeing and experiencing the value of having conversations with others of like mind and hearing new possibilities that like in a really quick way that I couldn't have or wouldn't have probably seen myself just on my own in meditation. Um, hearing about people's journeys with medicines or healing, healing the healing journey basically um the steam room is really nice i like the steam room and for me that meets a need for comfort and for rejuvenation i really love even the fact that we have a steel beam in the basement where i can do chin-ups for me that's really enjoyable just by hanging around the the space and doing some chin-ups here and there because there's a steel beam here i'm like i can feel my musculature changing in my shoulders um, I like the conversations that I've had here, like we've had interviews with Nicole Hartley Bradford and Brianne Vaillancourt talking about their possibility management stuff or a chat with John Daly that I had about his journeys and insights these days. Those are cool to connect and to be able to, to make videos. I've really enjoyed doing that because it's it's it meets a need for creativity for me and to connect. What else? I'm remembering 
when we had Aura and and John and their third friend here that were they were doing classical music so classical woodwinds and playing a set here so that for me that was beautiful I got to help them record their music and I really enjoyed that because it met a need for me to support others I'd like to support others with my skills and my talents so I had an opportunity to do that there and to experience something out of the ordinary or like noteworthy to have a, a classical trio in the house that was a neat experience yeah a neat met a need for me for perceiving beauty for creativity um, I'm thinking of Sunday morning meditation and pancakes they've been all of them beautiful in different ways for me um, for me I've been able to give my gift or at least my self express through music here which has been really beautiful on those morning meetings. I get also, there have been a few cuddle puddles, one noteworthy one where, yeah, it met a need for me for touch and connection. So that was really beautiful, especially in a time where the the mainstream drum beat is like isolate, isolate, isolate. Um, I've had an opportunity to be with many people's kids at the house like block school or evenings where there are kids running around and playing and for me I don't have any kids so I haven't had a lot of time being with them but for me that was it was been neat to actually be part of a community where there are kids going on and I get to learn how to be with kids too and learn to communicate with them so that was that met a need for me for learning and for for community feeling connected For me, also the the great room, which we're we're able to book at the UUC, the big it's like attached to the one attached to the kitchen. That's what we call the great room. For me, that's a beautiful space to record music videos. It's for me in my mind, it's roughly equivalent to, other than there is some some noise bleed from the street. It's roughly equivalent acoustically to me to like a million dollar studio room as far as I'm concerned or like a hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollar studio room in terms of acoustics so I've really enjoyed playing some guitar there singing there um, I'm thinking of the garage and how Travis is out there painting and just seeing for me that meets a need for supporting people in their gifts like seeing Travis out there makes me happy because I know that he's got this space where he can work and do his art which I know he loves to do I love seeing people come in the door which has happened on many occasions and just say like wow this is such a cool place I resonate with the vibe of freedom and recognizing love as our guiding principle or bright principle as opposed to just following what like government tells us that's a big deal for he for me here meets a need for sovereignty self-management freedom autonomy also i'm i've really enjoyed the discussions about what village looks like what next culture looks like talking with people about that and how they have different ideas of uh, how to move forward with society. I love that kind of discussion and that for me that meets a need for learning, for connecting with others, feeling connected, need for creativity to evolve, to be challenged. I'm thinking of the first weekend with where we had Azure leading cacao ceremonies and then some dance afterward and just getting to meet new people on the same wavelength. That was really beautiful for me. It's really enjoyable with a cacao ceremony, just being able to come to something that's that I wouldn't think of doing myself. Like so it meets a need for me for variety or for for newness or vibrancy. Yeah, so these are some of the memories that come up. Mainly, I just like being part of this venture because 
I love to create, I love to learn, I love to work on projects with people that I care about and share my gifts, help people in a way that I know how to do. And the UUC gives me a space to do that in many ways. So I look forward to whatever this venture ends up being the great experiment here that it is. And man, learning so much already just through the various experiences and reflecting on those and and uh, appreciating the parts that went well and then having that opportunity to imagine a purified version of anything that that was challenging here and to use that to evolve and see new possibilities so and it's you know, it's amazing to do it with other people that uh, are on the same wavelength instead of just trying to do it by oneself, which I've done a lot in my life. So sending you blessings of thriving and peace now if you're watching this and look forward to seeing your video if you want to post one to this regard about what you've gotten out of the UUC or what you want to receive more of, what your needs are. I didn't really get into that um, for myself. I guess my needs for the UUC would be something like for it to come into harmony in terms of like we seem to not be meeting the rent every month. So it would be cool if that 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 element gets harmonized in the sense that it figures itself out like we get enough people that are really enjoying the space and want to contribute or or if it ends up being a pivot like the space the space we don't keep it and we just keep building the village or learning together in a different context then that's cool but like for yeah the resolution of that aspect and really I guess it's just an aspect in my own mind because all of life is always flowing and changing anyway so it will be what it is any other needs that I might have that aren't met I guess a need for me is uh, like the work that I'm doing right now with lawn care and window cleaning I can make it, it's the best way that I found to make money for myself do running my own business for a few months in the springs but I get, and it's enjoyable having to, I can work on like working with other people and expanding the venture and, and playing at the edge of my box and growing. I love to grow and challenge myself so I can do it with that venture. But, um, I feel a bit sad that I'm doing that with more of a money orientation than, than really feeling like I'm able to commit my full time to to building next culture or a village venture so yeah if any of you have possibilities around that I mean I can always stop doing the lawn care stuff it's just like I'm trying to pay my line of credit off so otherwise I would like to engage more in in community ventures or village ventures or something that's actually moving humanity forward actually that reminds me of another thing that I've enjoyed with the space is the ability to to have people that I can come together with people and be like, hey, I've been thinking of sharing my self-management tools over the last um, years. And someone can say, hey, you should do that. When do you want to book it? And it'll actually happen. Like, so I've done my Tuesday nights where some of them have been movie nights where we all come together and talk about what's relevant and present and, um, yeah, work on growing together. But some of them, the earlier ones, there were a couple where I got to share some tools that I've learned for conscious self-management. So basically learning from, maximizing learning from past memory. And that's probably something that I wouldn't have done if I had just been on my own, plugging away. So having people that were like, yeah, do your gifts, share your gifts, go for it. And that's what I try and do when people are here too. Like, okay, when are you going to book? When are you going to do your, you're talking about that, that sounds great, go for it. I'm hearing it I suggest you go for it so that's for me that meets a need for support and to support both are both of which are important needs for me yeah looks like my mind has stopped giving me more things to talk about so I look forward to seeing you as you are, as we are next time we meet, and I hope you're doing well. And I will 
See you in Creator's Timing. Ciao for now.